Hello, everyone. I am Sarah McDermott, the founder of Prindy, and I'm joined today by Zeb Damon, who is the director and one of the writers on the live action short film Adolescence, which is one of our official selections for Prindy 2020, which this year will be a virtual festival taking place from September 10th to the 13th. So Zeb, thank you so much for being here today and just taking the time to speak with us. Thank you, yeah, thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, uh, it's exciting <laughs> to have this conversation. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, I mean, I gotta tell you, I loved your film so much. I just thought it was so beautifully done. And thank to give you. just a brief, a brief little overview for our, for our audience, this is a film that you've described as it's a coming of age and a coming out story. Um, dealing with a young man, it's basically his last day at home in Cornwall, England, he's getting ready to leave and he's spending the day with friends and one friend in particular, a male friend who he definitely has strong um, romantic feelings for. And again, just so beautifully done. So I love to start off just asking, you know, what it was that drew you to this particular story and, you know, and made you feel like this is something that I have to get made. Okay, well, first of all, thank you for loving the film. And uh, it's always great to hear when people have a, uh, a good feeling with it when they watched it and uh, well yeah it's my first short film mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a dream of mine to uh, to make films since I was uh, very young and uh, because of my photography background I started to uh, get to know um, like uh, people from the film industry around me because we did like uh, little fashion videos and stuff. So I started to know a great DOP, you know, all, all that, um, like a crew. And uh, so I started talking to people like, oh, I would love to do this and I have an idea and everybody just really is interested in always uh, uh, helping out um, with something creative. So, um, the film, the idea actually came to me when I was in Paris and there was a very old bookshop where I often go to when I'm there for a shoot and have some, you know, time off. Um, and I found this book from, with black and white photography uh, from the uh, late 40s, 50s and it was from uh, young people uh, on the beach. And uh, so, yeah, and there was this one image on the rock where four boys were uh, laying down on the towel and it's also in the film. So I was immediately like, oh, this is so beautiful. This could be a story. And then I just started thinking about my own life when I was growing up with my friends, um, where you used to think like uh, your friends would, you know, always be there, but you grow up and everybody goes their own way. Uh, but when you're young, you don't realize that. You think this is, gonna be forever, you know? So I thought that was interesting. And then of course the coming out. Um, yeah, so that's when I started writing it, I think about three years ago. And then uh, one thing led to another and then the story came about, yeah. Wonderful. I don't know if I'm explaining it really good. I'm sorry. No, you are. You're, you're fantastic. Don't worry. It's um no, and it's just it's always just wonderful to hear about the creative process. So that one of my questions was actually going to be um I wasn't sure if it was like a writer had brought you this script originally and you loved it, uh, or if you yeah. had written the first draft. So it, it was yeah. you. And then later, did you work with other writers and kind of flesh? Yeah, out? exactly. So first, I started writing like little ideas you know here and there and then a great friend of mine he came on board and he did film school so um that was interesting just to, we started talking about it and then it was a like little project when mm -hmm. we had time off we came together we we were writing and then writing a little bit more and then we had this story from beginning to end but then afterwards, because uh, we don't re we don't speak English, it's not. I mean, we speak it, but it's not our main language. We uh, um, took someone from uh, England who also lived in Cornwall, or used to live there, and he's a scriptwriter. So we sent everything to him, and we were like, um, "Give us some ideas. What do you think? Like a fresh, fresh um, voice to what we already." And then he made it even better, and the language more beautiful. Wonderful. Is it is it very challenging with English as a second language to then work with you know English actors and and is does that like present its own <laughs> special set? Of so. Yeah, the thing is um, because we don't speak it all day. So when I 
when you're between people who constantly talk English, uh, then you get better. But now it's been a while, so, so sorry for it. <laughs> Uh, but no, I mean, you're amazing because believe me, I can't speak anything other than my native <laughs> language, and <laughs> I'm very oh, impressed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. thank you, thank you. So, uh, but it was really good for the dialogue to have somebody who, who is from England to mm -hmm. you know, and also has an understanding of how they maybe talked back in the 50s, maybe some words they don't use, mm -hmm. well, you know, stuff like that. That's very important. Um, from back then, so uh, yeah, it just made it better and stronger, and uh, so yeah. Wonderful. So, um, so like like you just mentioned, you kind of mentioned finding the photograph from late '40s, early '50s. The film is set in the '50s. Um, so, what was sort of the thought process behind, I guess, choosing to make it a period piece, or what made it more powerful as a period piece versus, you know, maybe setting it in present present day? Sure, sure. Well, um, well. First of all, I'm always drawn to that time. I don't know, I think people looked great back then, the styling, the cars, everything. Uh, but of course, there's more to it. I think it's very interesting that back then, um, it wasn't talked about, like coming out, you know, nobody talked about it. It wasn't on television, you know, it wasn't around you. And I also thought it was interesting to not have the cell phones and not be able to, you know, you're just alone with your own feelings back then. And then it takes a lot of courage to maybe tell a best friend. Mm -hmm. Definitely back then. I think it's still maybe, yes, yeah, it's, it's still difficult. But yeah, I, I was just thinking back then. I thought it was very interesting to, uh, to think about how it was uh, maybe back then to, uh, to be with those feelings, you know? And right. uh, yeah. Right, and you de you definitely handle it so beautifully, and you have some. Um, I loved how you had this image of like the other world, kind of towards the end, where they discuss that, and they're talking about you know underwater, but of course it also relates to this, like let's step into the other world, and I, I just thought all that was very beautiful. Some of the imagery that you came up with, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I think that was a really nice thing to you know when they were young, they would dream about it, like everything was possible, it's all good, but then when you grow older. You know, you hear things around you and then you start thinking like, oh, maybe this isn't okay, you know, even though it is. But that's why I thought it was beautiful. They were just sitting there and thinking about how it used to be, and, you know. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Um, you mentioned too, kind of just like the style of that time period. And when I watched this film, I, I very clearly thought to myself, this film has such great style. Like I just loved all the costuming, all the everything. And then after I watched it and I kind of did a little research on you, I found that you were a fashion photographer as well. So I also wanted to ask about that and just your background in fashion in terms yeah. of creating the look of this film, um, yeah. how that helped you. Well, uh, it was actually really great because I've been um, a fashion photographer for, for almost 10 years now. So um, I had a great team that I work with very often um, in Paris and uh, I was just telling them about it and they were very excited to do also a film instead of like photography. And uh, so I had a great stylist already on board who I talked with a lot, had a lot of references and photographs that I, I liked so we started talking about it I didn't want it to become like I didn't want it to make it a fashion film because sometimes clothes can be too distracting but mm -hmm. I think she did it beautifully mm -hmm. like uh, kept it simple but still you feel the elegance of that time and uh, so yeah that was great and then I also had makeup hair from from my fashion background in photography they all came on board and they were brilliant and it was great to um, have the film, the crew from, from films uh, combined with the fashion people. They had to learn from each other as well because uh, like film, it takes uh, more time, you know, <laughs> to set it up and all that and longer hours. So, uh, but yeah, I had a great team behind me to make it all happen. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with how it looks. Wonderful. Yeah, it does. It really, it really looks fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, I, I love to, um, just that you use the camera kind of as this tool for him to, yeah. for this character. Um, and I mean, you are a photographer and a filmmaker and this main character is a photographer and using that camera just to be a little bit bolder with what he looks at yeah. or with the way he's processing the world. And, you know, as someone also interested in this, I always appreciate that when I see that 
in a mm -hmm. film. So did that come a lot from your own experience as a filmmaker and photographer and how you, um, your camera sort of helps you to see the world? Definitely, definitely. Actually, that, I think that's something I put from myself into the main character because I remember when I was 12, I got my first uh, video camera mm -hmm. from my parents. Um, and uh, I, I always like, I was hiding behind it at some point, I think, you know, always filming my friends, making f uh, little videos with them. So I thought it was a cool thing to put in the film as well. And uh, yeah, I think when you're behind the camera, you always see certain things nobody else is paying attention to. And, you're, and I thought it was an interesting thing that he will find the strength behind the camera to, you know, mm -hmm. to make these images from his friend like make it a little bit poetic and yeah. So I thought it was a cool thing to put in the film. It does have a very poetic feel. So it's, yeah, it was, yeah. It was very nicely done. Um, <laughs> when I was looking and I was kind of researching online a little bit about the film, I did find your original casting call and I wanted to ask you about the process of casting the actors. And then a little bit of a scandalous question I had is in the casting call, I saw that you, I think originally were maybe planning on nudity, but then decided not to use nudity. So I kind of wanted to ask you about just the, the process of choosing to use it, not yeah. to use it and what that was like. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to think back already because it's been quite some time when it all <laughs> happened. Nudity, I think, ah, well, I think in the beginning of the script, there was a bit more of it mm -hmm. in it, but then, I don't know, did we decide to, there wasn't really a decision like, let's take it out. I think we made it a little bit, I don't know, maybe it was enough already with the skin, you know, it was enough. <laughs> so it was like, uh, but now I feel like maybe for the next film, huh, if we are lucky enough to make one soon, <laughs> I think I want to push myself a little bit more to make it more a bit, a bit more raw maybe, but, um, yeah, I don't know if there was really the intention in the beginning to make it more nude, but I think the references in the mood board, they had some nudity in there. I think it was more like that. But then we decided to, uh, yeah, it was skin enough already in the film. <laughs> yeah. You're like, that's good, it's just enough. Um, yeah. so, are you, so you mentioned kind of hoping to do a next film. Do you know what you are hoping to do next or do you already have a project in mind? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm writing um, right now because I had some time with uh, all that happened in the world, mm -hmm. you know, so like everybody, we were in lockdown. So I was like, okay, let's just start writing some ideas. And uh, so I'm talking to different people now to maybe hopefully make a new project. But as you know, it always takes time and it takes, uh, yeah, somebody who has a little bit of a budget and was interested. So, but yeah, I'm starting to write now. And um, actually it's a little bit, uh, that's the only thing I can say. It, it's a little bit like um, the story we have now with adolescents. We're exploring more on um, this issue and that story um, where the characters are going. It's gonna be something different, but still a little bit like, yeah. I, I, I I'm still, it's still in my body. I can't let it go yet. This time period and this story, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, it will have different characters. Okay. okay, very, very cool. Um, and I, I love that, I love that, that you keep kind of returning to that, that period and that, you, mm -hmm. again, like I think um, in, in this film, I think it works to great effect to kind of have yeah. it, just the period Thank piece with certain look, yeah. <laughs> great thanks for yeah. sure um well thank you so much i mean it, it let me know if is there anything else that you would want just people to know or that you hope um, you're taking away from this film yes um let me let me think well um no it's just like i'm it, i was very grateful to have the opportunity to make this first short film and i'm very grateful to everybody who helped the whole team involved um we went there for four days to Cornwall. That's super short. So it were very intense days um, working on this film. But uh, it brought us so close as a team uh, on those four days. And uh, it, was, it was amazing. I'll be forever grateful. And hopefully, um, like I said, in the future, I can bring the, the team together again and do some more film. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just hope everybody who will see it on the festival online will enjoy it.
I believe, I believe they will. Yeah, it's, I certainly did. So I, I highly recommend everybody. I'll remind them again. We're a virtual festival this year, but it's going to be September 10th to the 13th. Um, absolutely check out Adolescence. It's just beautifully done. You can see what it is that we've been talking about. <laughs> um, so make sure not to miss it. And Zeb, just thank you so much again for taking the time out to just speak with me a little bit. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you.